Hi there, everybody. Hi. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Thought I'd make this fun little video about repurpose ultra strong 100% made from plants renewable BPA free compostable plastic utensils plant made plastic see if it's true or not it says here these are not traditional plastic utensils Made from plants, not petroleum. They are also certified compostable, so they break down in a matter of months, not millennia. Best of all, they have the same look and feel as the utensils you're used to, only better for you and the planet. Welcome to a cleaner world. I thought I'd put it to the test. I bought these last winter, but I didn't want to put them out here and test them during winter time when it gets cold at night, below freezing temperatures. I figured that probably would would uh, stop them from composting as quick as they claim so i figured i'd give them a fair shake it's may 6th i'm out here in this field what are you doing with my trusty pooch crease come on babe there she is look at that it's a wild pooch come on find the webbage you lead the way you don't like leading the way through the tall grass all right i'll lead the way May 6th, it'll get some good rain, some good heat over the next few months. See what they do. Find a good spot. Looks like I'm kind of on a trail. I don't know if it's humans walking back here or if it's deer, but something's went through here. There's another trail going that way. It's probably armadillos and stuff. But anyways, let's go over here, kind of in between these thorn bushes. I don't want to go too deep in the thorn bushes. <laughs> I learned that the hard way with my trail cam one year. I want them to be exposed to the sun and the rain. Give them a fair shake. This looks like a pretty good spot. Dump them out right here, see how it goes. Now I use these. I reused them a few times. I never washed them. Well, I mean, I washed them. <laughs> I didn't wash them the last time because I figured under real circumstances they would you know they're disposable so they would have food on them and stuff so i just the last time i used them i didn't wash them i just had them sitting around what i can say i used them probably three or four times each and uh, they started getting real weak they're not even really usable now to eat food with see how easy that snapped so that's a good thing that does mean that they're working for sure but uh let's see how long it actually takes for a breakdown i'm gonna leave this box out here too there's actually a bit of plastic on this box let's see how that does so i'll put the box right over here i don't want to make it too obvious because someone might pick them up out here that's unlikely but you never know. See how weak they are. Look at that. So they're definitely getting weaker and weaker, which is what you want, you know. I mean, these are disposable. They're intended to be used once, of course, and then just thrown in the garbage, so. It's really annoying trying to eat with them at this point. See, <laughs> I was breaking the forks off while I was eating. So, uh. Definitely gets annoying trying to reuse them, but that's what you want though. Oh yeah, one really important fact that a lot of people probably don't know. I was trying to find a way into investing into this uh, plant-made plastic, because I just think it's gonna be huge in the future. I don't think there's any way around it. And I started researching it, and I couldn't really find a way to invest, in the couple of places I found that are well established that make plastic out of plants. It took me a few hours of researching it to figure this out. 
and see how the first sentence they're made from plants not petroleum that's actually totally irrelevant because a lot of the plastic that is made from plants doesn't break down it's not biodegradable it's not compostable and it lasts for millennia <laughs> just like the plastics made from petroleum so watch out being made from plants is absolutely uh, absolutely irrelevant there's a couple different ways they can do it so you want to make you want one that's made from plants that's compostable so biodegradable and compostable is the two magic words that you'd want to invest in something or there's probably people out there that you might have a way to make this kind of stuff yourself out of plants I mean, it's, it's going to be a huge business in the future. I mean, think about all the packaging, all the bags and the straws and all the plastic utensils. Just the enormous plastic problem. I'll link a few videos down in the description about how bad the plastic problem is in the ocean. Uh, plastic's just a huge problem. I also have a video showing how raccoons pollute the ocean with plastic. It's quite interesting if you're... Uh, into this kind of thing it never really dawned on me but down there in the description i'll link up a video talking about how raccoons drag plastic out of the dumpsters down into the creeks and water holes where they hang out and then heavy rains come by and wash it all down into the rivers which eventually goes into the ocean i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of that plastic problem we see in the ocean isn't actually being caused by raccoons i mean an enormous amount of that problem might be because a raccoon is dragging it out of our garbage cans i mean i know that's not the only problem but it's an unseen thing that a lot of people probably wouldn't think of anyways check it out check that video out if you're interested what do you say pooch you don't like leading the way through the toss you too short you're a good dog find a webbies What do you say, Pooch? Huh? A little warmer out here? September 15th. Four months in one week. Field looks a little different. What do you think? I think deer sleep in here. So that's kind of nice. These little trails, what do you think? Huh? What do you think, Pooch? So, this is the first time I've come to check on them. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put them right over here. Off the point of these bushes, I think. I figured the landscape might change a little. Hopefully we can find them. Mm -hmm. What do you say, babe? Huh? Well, I wonder how far they would degrade. Whoa, look at that. Oh, mouse. Sniff, sniff, sniff. You got sniff? You got sniff? Huh? What's that? Oh, there's one in there. Oh, she got the sniff. There they are. Thank you, little mouse. Led me to them. I don't. I don't think I would have found that had I not messed around with it. There they are. Unfortunately, shoot, this big old thorn bush has grown over top. <laughs> um. So they've been sitting in the shade. Unfortunately. Ouch! Ooh, I don't think they've been getting a lot of uh, water either. Ouch! Dang it! Oh, sheesh! But there they are for sure. Where's the package? There's the package. Ouch! Ooh, dang! Oh, ooh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Ouch! My goodness, those are extra sticky ones. Keisha, don't go in there. Go, no, you need to go the other way. Mm. Oh. Well, 
that's wet that's damp so it's definitely had moisture on it i wanted them to sit in the sun summer sun and stuff but let's see how they're doing get a couple of these out of here they definitely have not fallen apart uh they're real brittle but they're about like they were before those are nowhere near composting though that's for sure there's nothing there's nothing composting about those at all however they are definitely weak but i can't really see any change four months in one week there's no they're sitting down in the dirt down there ouch i wanted them to have a chance to be in the environment they get dirt on them and water on them and sun i don't know if the sun would have much to do with it but uh Not sure what to think. I'll let you guys make up your own mind. What do you think? I took them off the shelf probably seven or eight months ago. I bought them. And let's see. I'll get one more last impression here. They are basically the same strength the same brittleness as they were four months and a week ago so i don't know i'll let you make up your own minds i'll leave them out here i'll come check on them in the winter time but for this video that's that I hope you enjoyed this little experiment and as always thanks for watching let's go this way Ha, ha, ha.